This is Brian. He's 11. He has just started primary 5. Brian loves to read, build things, and play football. He has been in school for 5 years. It will soon be time for Brian to show what he has learned, so he can progress to the next stage of his education journey. Brian's parents are worried, and Brian is beginning to feel the stress. What if he can't do as well as his family expects? What if his friends do better than he does? What if he can't get into the school he wants? His classmates are in the same boat. Usually, Brian would be spending his free time reading his favourite storybooks, tinkering with his robots, or going out with his family. But now he's spending more time at his desk studying. The PSLE continues to be a useful checkpoint to gauge a student's understanding of key concepts and his strengths which can then guide his future choices. But over the years, the PSLE has been increasingly seen as a high-stakes exam, which determines a child's future. This mindset is causing stress to our children. The PSLE scoring changes intend to reduce excessive competition and overemphasis on academic results. With these changes, Brian will have more time and space to build a strong foundation and pursue his interests. So, what's new? The current T-score system differentiates students finely. This may not be meaningful in the long run. So, we will be replacing the T-score with broader scoring bands. For every subject, students will be assigned an achievement level, which spans a range of marks. AL1 is the highest level. Now, students who score in the same range of marks in a subject will fall into the same achievement level. Now, whether Brian gets 92 or 100 marks in a subject, he will still be awarded the highest achievement level. A student's total score, called the PSLE score, will be the sum of his subject achievement levels. So Brian's final score is 8. Brian's ALs will also reflect how well he has performed in the subjects and not how he has done compared to his cohort. Brian can now focus on his own learning and not on competing with his classmates. Hopefully, Brian will have more time to pursue his interests. He is still learning many life lessons along the way. So how does this affect posting? The first criterion for posting is still the PSLE score. Now with broader bands, more students will have the same PSLE score. So, a student's choice order of schools will matter more in their secondary school posting. So what happens if Brian and his friend, Jane, have the same PSLE score? Brian has a better chance of getting into school A because he puts it down as his first choice. With this change, more parents and children may be encouraged to look beyond cutoff points to the unique programs being offered by the different secondary schools. There are some things that will stay the same. The new PSLE scoring will not affect the school curriculum. The same four subjects will be tested. The changes to PSLE scoring are another step in reducing overemphasis on academics and results. Over the years, we have introduced direct school admission, stopped naming the top scorers, stopped revealing the highest and lowest scores on result slips, released past PSLE papers to make exam standards and formats clearer to the public. Our schools have also been introducing varied programs for students to be creative and explore their interests. They also offer opportunities for students to build their resilience, tenacity, and team spirit. By 2017, every secondary school will have distinctive programs. What does all this mean for Brian? In primary school, Brian develops strong foundation skills but also has time to discover his strengths and interests. He is in the process of finding out who he is. He chooses a secondary school that suits his interests and abilities and builds on his existing skills and talents. Brian is always encouraged to look beyond just academic results and enjoy the many experiences at school that help develop his knowledge, skills, values and character. 
By the time Brian leaves school, he will have developed an array of abilities that go beyond just textbooks and exams. Brian's success depends on all of us. We will need active support from parents, teachers and the community to enable our children to reach their potential. Let us work together so that our children can do their best each in their own way.